Um, yeah, Sean has broken his right arm. Um, so he obviously won't be available for the, the rest of the Guinness series. Robbie, his hamstring tightened uh, during the warm-up. We're going to have to have a look at it and we'll know more over the next few days. We're hopeful because we didn't push him and uh, we could have tried to see how he went on the pitch, but it was right toward the end of the warm-up and we just felt that it would be a, a risk, twofold risk. One, would he do more damage? And two, uh, it's always difficult if you've got to substitute someone five minutes into a test match when you have a limited number of substitutes. So, uh, Kieran Marmion just rolled his ankle a little bit. If you watch on, he, 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 does, he does play on. And so, um, would be very hopeful that he, he'll be fine. He might have to elevate his ankle for the next 24, 48 hours and, and, and get, a, get a bit of ice on it. But um, we'd be relatively confident he'll be okay. Oh, he's gutted. I'm gutted for him. I think the team are. I actually thought he was just getting into his rhythm in the game. Um, talking to him after the game, he's, he's already thinking about his rehab and about trying to make sure he gets back. He's got a, a big target in a year's time that he, he wants to get to. And, you know, he, I think I described him as a stubborn man uh, on Thursday. And uh, I think that ability to bounce back, that resilience that he has, uh, would still give him a chance of, of getting back in, in time for, you know, toward the end of the year and, and then into the Six Nations. Joe, we've got Bundy as well. He still looks on the replays. That was a, a bit of a nasty one in his ankle. saw it. Yeah, there was a lot of ice on at the end. Is he going to be okay? So if you look better well? Yeah, again, if you follow on, I think he beat four tackles in his next carry. Um, he. He would be another stubborn man in the, uh, in the best sense of the word, very resilient. And he was actually walking problem free, not limping at all in the change room just then. So uh, again, you'd be pretty, pretty confident that he'll be okay. Um, but the next 24 to 48 hours will, will give us a better insight into um, how soon he'll be able to train and run fully. George, you'd be hopeful that um, Robbie Sorry, Gary and Rob Crane will be fit as well. Where are they? Yeah, they, they're going really well. Our prediction is they'll train fully on Monday. So uh, with that prediction, that puts them into the mix for sure. And uh, in the context of some guys that are a little bit doubtful, that's really important to us. Rory, can you talk to what you thought was going on on, on the line-out? Yeah, look, I think when we saw their team, uh, they picked three second rows and kind of felt that they were going to target that and they were moving around and, and guessing a wee bit and, and when a team does that sometimes you know, with your process they guess right and um, there's a few that, that they guessed and a wee bit obviously disappointed with that and um, having said that then we, we got ourselves back together again and, and won a few and um, won a few scrappily and sometimes you just have to get the ball back um, but I think we'll be we'll be better for for tonight you know just a little bit of that cohesion in, in the line out. It's a great challenge of your coaching career, Joe. You've got had three goals at them, uh, the All Blacks. Is it the thing that has to be <laughs> the No, not really. It's, and it, it, it's so little to do with me, you know. I, I, I think uh, I, I step back on a Thursday and, it, and it's really player driven and um, it, I'd be delighted if we could be as competitive as we were the last three times we played them. You know, the fact that, you know, the points differential between us is, is so narrow. The fact that in those three games, you know, that there was the one in 2013. Um, yeah, I am still bleeding from that. Uh, you know, it, it hurts when that happens. Um, and, and while it, Chicago was a great band-aid, and in fact, it was a full bandage, it was great. But... Uh, you know, two weeks later, we we were very, very much in the game, and and it was and it was very tough, very, very tough. You know, as physical as it was tonight, it was a step up uh, last time they were in town. So, you know, the challenge for our guys is is to step up, and you know, I, I'm confident that they can. And at the same time, I'm 
I'm well aware of what challenge the All Blacks present.